Good morning, Mount Carmel area, and welcome to this edition of MCA Live. I'm Isabella Steller. And I'm Cody Dietz. Here are today's announcements, then our news stories. Today is Tuesday, November 19th, day four. Today is an activity period day and we'll follow the special bell schedule and have a new puzzler at the end of this broadcast. Keystone's exam are scheduled for December 4th due to the Thanksgiving break and they are only seven school days away. There will be a varsity basketball cheerleading practice today at 2.30 in room 129. Uniforms will be distributed. Please be prompt. The eighth grade football team pizza party at Matucci's is tonight, 6 p.m., and any player who does not hand in their equipment may not attend. If you still have your uniform, coach contact Everett. Junior, junior high boys basketball practice will be Thursday at 5 in the elementary gym. Sign-ups for winter track in the athletic office this week. District band participants are welcome to play after school to work with Mr. Steller in the band room all week. Mrs. Rumble's speaking and writing students are reminded that to bring in a pop song lyrics to the class this week. FTA will meet tomorrow after school in Mrs. Mars's room. Students are reminded they may not bring their own food or drink, including water bottles, into the cafeteria during City Hall. The New York Club is sponsoring a code drive until December 4th. Please take donations. They will take donations in 304 in the box or in the main lobby. And here's today's news. There's a national movement to keep our neighbors and communities safe called National Night Out. This year's National Night Out coordinators held their event at Mount Carmel Area School District, and it was quite an event. Reporter Rachel Startzel and videographer Alex Morozik have the story. Mount Carmel Borough has participated in National Night Out for five years, and this year the township and borough joined forces to make the event even bigger and better. Tuesday, August 6, 2013, Mount Carmel Police, Fire, and Emergency Medical Departments came together at the high school grounds demonstrating how to keep the community safe. This year's event was hosted by event coordinator and Township Patrolman Kelly Campbell and Assistant Coordinator Jason Drumheller, Mount Carmel Patrolman. One of the popular attractions included the appearance of the Pennsylvania State Police Mounted Unit. Corporal Wes Vanwick spoke to WKMC about their group. This is Samson, he's a Percheron and he is nine years old. The other one is Joker, he's also a Percheron and he is 15 years old. We have uh, two four-horse trailers and two six-horse trailers, so we can take 20 horses anywhere in the state within within two hours. We can be have everything, all our equipment loaded and the horses loaded, and be on our way out to out to the detail. When um, uh, during 9/11, when the plane went down in Shanksville, they called. And, uh, and we took uh, 16 horses out there uh, to do 12-hour uh, perimeter security shifts out there, and they did that for 19 days. So you were either on a horse or you were taking care of the horse or you were sleeping, pretty much. Some of the participating groups included the Girl Scouts, Cub Scouts, and Drug Awareness Task Force. Also, there was face painting, games, rides, and a dunk tank for the kids. The Atlas Fire Department has had a reenactment of an accident scene. They demonstrated on how they prepped the victim, detached the car doors with special equipment, cut these supports off of the car, and to lift the roof off of the vehicle. Ambulance crew then proceeded to place the patient onto the stretcher and got the patient safely into the ambulance. Another popular attraction was the Geisinger Life Flight Helicopter. Children and adults had the opportunity to interact with the pilots and actually sit inside the helicopter. All of these community organizations and more came out to show the people of the area how to ensure us that we are safe in our small town. The organizers are hoping next year's event will be even more successful. Thanks to everyone who came out on National Night Out at Mount Carmel Area High School. For more information about America's Night Out Against Crime, go to nationalnightout.org or call 1-800-NIGHT-OUT. That was sure a nice event, and next year's promises to be even better. The Elks Junior Student of the Month for October is Junior Paige Domboski, daughter of Kara and Todd Domboski of Mount Carmel. Paige is a member of the art club and works at Garrison's Ye Old Butcher Shop after school. She is a member of the Junior Honor Society and participates in Odyssey of the Mind and received an Omer Award for the Good Sportsmanship during last year's competition. Paige enjoys reading fiction novels, painting, crafting, sketching, and has a huge sense of humor because she is a big chive. And if you're not sure what that is, ask Paige. 
Her future plans are to attend a four-year university to study psychology and child development. Congratulations, Paige. Attention seniors, looking for a unique way to serve your community? The First United Methodist Church in Mount Carmel will be offering an activity for community children on Saturday, December 14th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Interested seniors will be volunteering their time in order to help the kids have a fun-filled day while their parents do some last-minute Christmas shopping. This is a great way for seniors to complete their required project while assisting the community. Stop by the guidance office or see Mrs. Purcell for any additional information. Ms. Verano will be right back with sports. The weather's getting colder, the nights are getting shorter, and we all know what that means. Wrestling season is finally here. Well New varsity coach Steve Sinkovich will assist returning head coach Randy Ryder with the help of Matt Narkavich. Mount Carmel's lone returning senior, Zeke Zito, looks to tear it up this year. Other key returning wrestlers are junior Blake Panko and sophomores Alan Yankuski and Mitchell Fletcher. The Red Tornadoes are looking to send at least one, if not more, wrestlers to the state tournament this year in Hershey. The boys kick off their season on the 6th of December at the DKI tournament in Bloomsburg. Good luck on the mats, wrestlers. Last night, the junior high girls basketball team traveled to Central Columbia. The 7th grade girls had a tough loss, but the 8th grade girls came out on top 31 to 10. There are no sports scheduled for tonight, so back to the news desk. All right, thanks. Looking for a good excuse? To eat more on Thanksgiving, the Shemokin Rotary Club is hosting the third annual Turkey Trot 5K run or walk on Thanksgiving Day. Registration starts at 8 a.m. and the race starts at 9 a.m. at the Shemokin High School, Kent Memorial Stadium. Pre-registration entry is $20 for adults and $10 for ages 19 and under, and $25 the day of the race. Proceeds from the race will help the Rotary support local charity projects in the community. Runners are urged to pre-register as soon as possible. T-shirts will be awarded to all pre-registered runners, and awards will be given on the top finishers. To pre-register, call 570-205-9514 or email rotaryturkeytrot2013 at gmail.com. Or stop in Bader's Furniture Store, Library Street, Shemokin, during business hours. There are awards and prizes for seven age groups. Come out and support the Shemokin Rotary Club on Thanksgiving Day. Today is another activity period day, another puzzler, and another chance to review. If you know the answer, write it down and put it in the box in the high school office. Last week's English definition was the order of the words in a sentence, phrase, or clause to create a meaningful patterns is called this English term. And the answer is syntax. Syntax is very important to word structure and meaning in sentences. Here's English teacher Mr. Rumpolsky to explain more. Syntax emphasizes the importance of sentence structure. In the first sentence, we have, toss me down the steps an apple. In the second sentence, toss an apple down the steps to me. You can see just by changing the structure of the sentence, it changes the entire meaning of the sentence. In this sentence, it appears that you're tossing me down the steps, as opposed to this sentence, where you're obviously tossing the apple down the steps to me. Syntax matters. Next is a biology puzzler. Here it goes. Describe what an abiotic factor is in an ecosystem and provide at least one example. Good luck everyone. Take your guesses to the office and for today's lunch. Breaded pork patty with cheese on roll, cauliflower, applesauce, and low-fat milk. For tomorrow's breakfast, scramble eggs with cheese, toast slice, whole grain cereal, assorted bagels, and 100% juice. Well, that ends our broadcast for today. Tune in up with us tomorrow for more news. If you need a day just to be blah, take that chance today. Because today is national. Have a bad day day. So in honor, have a terrible Tuesday, MCA.